Welcome back to the channel. This week I've upgraded the streaming PC and put in a AMD Ryzen 7800X3D. So in this video I thought I'd revisit DCS World in VR with multi-threading to see how it compares to the very recent benchmark that I've done on the Intel 12900K which was my current gaming PC uh, and I'm probably going to switch them around now depending on how these results turn out. So this could be one of a few different benchmarks. In this video I thought it would be good to compare them because I've got the same drivers on both machines, both in terms of Nvidia drivers, the settings in the game, and also the OpenXR toolkit I've downloaded the same version I was using previously. So first up we're just doing the same F18 foveated rendering enabled uh, benchmark. So on the left we've got the 7800X3D and on the right we've got the Intel 12900K and interestingly the uh, the new king of gaming CPUs is actually not as quick in DCS as the 12900K which is interesting and I think that could be due to the way Eagle Dynamics have probably implemented special rules for using the extra E cores and uh, P cores, and if it's not a Alder Lake or Raptor Lake Intel CPU, I guess that pipeline's missing. But the difference isn't that much, uh, but you can clearly see the Intel has a slightly lower render latency overall. And if you look at the wavy lines just above the cockpit dashboard, it tends to be a bit smoother on the Intel. So I'm not sure why that is. I think the Intel is obviously getting better CPU utilization there's a lot more active cores and on the AMD there tends to be one or two cores with a lot of activity and the rest of them tend to be quite low. So maybe Eagle Dynamics have got some work to do there to uh, even out the optimization between Intel and AMD but if you're looking to get a brand new CPU just for this game only then based on this benchmark I'd say Intel is probably the way to go. Of course this is always subject to change and the build that Eagle Dynamics have released for multi-threading could be updated in future. So I'll have to check out some of the other games. Some I've tested uh, very briefly and it looks like a noticeable improvement with the 7800X3D. So this could be a bit of a dilemma if some of the games work better on the 7800 3D and some of them work better on the Intel and I've only got one 4090 GPU I'll just have to put that graphics card in the machine where the games I play the most play the best. One thing I have noticed with this CPU is that it is very uh, cool and doesn't use that much power so it's very power efficient compared to the Intel and you can see the, um, the memory setup that I've got here on the right. You'll notice that I'm using 6000 MHz DDR5 CL30 RAM. However, I couldn't get it to run stable with Expo at that speed. I had to clock it down to 5800. So that's why it's showing 2900 speed on the right hand side. All right, that's it from the video. If you have enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. If there's any other games in particular you'd like me to check out in VR, I'll try and swing back around to them. I just need to uh, make a list, retest them and then put the 4090 back in the 12900 and re-benchmark. Alright, that's it. Till next time, bye for now.